What is up guys? So today we're back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a little deer hunting. So I've actually got permission to hunt 800 acres. So me and my wife recently just moved houses and the guy who owns the land around, around us, um, he owns, I think 800 acres is what he said. He said, I can uh, hunt whatever I want, however much I want to hunt. Um, he has no problem with it at all. So that was a major win and a major blessing. Uh, super blessed with this house that we've got and super blessed uh, with the, the land I have permission to hunt now. Anytime you get that much land, it, as you guys know, it's a huge, huge win. So uh, um, this will actually be my first hunt I've ever hunted the land. Um, so me and my dad scouted a couple days ago, found some uh, fresh sign, some scrapes, that kind of thing. Um, so uh, hopefully I can see some deer this evening. So uh, I'm gonna head over to the blind and I'll catch you guys when I get there. All right guys, so we've officially made it to the blind. Um, I'll show you the view here. So we have this, we're working with this, this little field here. Um, I've got all the windows open. So this is, that spot right in there is where me and dad came out of from scouting and there's a really big scrape in those saplings in there and that buck's trail was coming out into this field um right over here to the right there's a uh there's a heavily used deer trail right there with some fresh tracks um but i'm hoping what they do all, all the way to those woods over there is only 45 yards so really anywhere in this area I can I can shoot um, up up there. I think that's about 80 something yards, so that'd be a really hard shot with a bow. But um, these deer, um, this property is mainly farmland, um, so these deer are constantly used to seeing people. Um, so I'm hoping that they're not really anxious or anything. They kind of come out in this field just kind of grazing and stuff to give me some time to get a shot, but I'm hoping uh, they'll be moving this evening. But I set it up in this spot, not only because that scrape, because behind me about uh, 300 yards, three to 500 yards, something like that, is a, a cornfield um, with standing corn. Um, and they like to move out of these hardwoods off this mountain and come, come down to the corn and feed for the evening. So I'm hoping that they do that this evening and I can catch them in the act of moving through so uh first hunt on the new land so uh, I'll keep you guys updated It's going on about five o'clock. I've already seen three deer, um, two really good sized does, and then there's a yearling steer that's still over here feeding to my left. I would have shot one of those does, but they're at like 95 yards away, so I don't have a shot on them. If I don't, if I don't see any more, if I don't see any coming out from in front of me this evening, I'll probably move my blind.
All right, guys, so just made it back to my house. Um, that was a, a very good hunt. Um, didn't see any bucks, but it was, a, it was a pretty intense hunt, close encounter hunt. Um, and those are always my favorite hunts when you can choose a spot and those deer come right past you at five to 20 yards, somewhere in there. Um, it took a while for them to come in, so they were standing up on that hill feeding at about 80 yards, and they'd been up there for a while, so I just got on my phone for a little while and just sitting there scrolling, and and uh, I looked to my left, and they're coming at me at, at 10 yards. So that doe, she made her way right in front of me, as you guys seen in the video, and she was at 15 yards, and then those two fawns, um, that one came at five yards and the other one at 10 to 15. Uh, I could have busted that doe, um, could have busted e e any of them, honestly, but I don't like killing does that have fawns with them still. Um, I just don't like taking a mom away from them until they're, they're on their own. So uh, I don't have a problem with it for, for those of you that do. I just, I've never done it myself. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a, it was a successful hunt. Uh, super happy with that that hunt i mean that's the first time i've ever hunted that spot like i said me and my dad went in there put the blind in two days ago and uh just followed some sign and that the sign that we thought they were going down they went exactly the path that we thought so um love seeing that um but super blessed to hunt this have this land to hunt uh anytime you can get this much land to hunt it's a major blessing so um it's great for me and great for you guys because I'll be able to make a lot more videos having this plus the 150 acres in ozone. Um, and I've got some big bucks moving in ozone and then I've got a bunch of deer moving here. So I have plenty to hunt, uh, plenty of content to make. So if you guys like this deer hunting stuff, um, make sure to like and subscribe the video. I'm trying to reach 500 subscribers. Um, haven't been posting much lately because like I said, me and my wife recently moved here and then we actually just had our our baby boy last week so uh been super busy um but it's starting to slow down now i'm off for all this week all of next week and so i'll be making as many videos as i can so if you guys enjoy this stuff make sure to subscribe turn those notification bells on um and as always i really appreciate you guys watching and remember that jesus loves you hope you have a blessed day